Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Spiritual Beast Awakening, a rare mid-event upgrade. Looks like, if you look here, basically you can get Awakening uh, Stones. They look like the ones you use to revive your generals in the shrine. And you can turn your gold, Spiritual Beast, into a red one let's look at how we can get them there are basically two ways to get these coins stones and then we will look at what it actually does so if you look here you get five for finishing first in world boss and you get zero for your alliance uh Ranking and basically if you go all the way down to level 10, this is going to be the goal for everybody It always should be the goal for everybody because you get the level 5 chest and Actually, you get it at level 11 as well. The cutoff is at 20 then I believe but the cutoff for the stones is at uh, So yeah, we're still in those chests. So 20 is where you always want to get for the extra monarch gear, but level 10 is now going to be a better cutoff because you want one of these awakening stones. Luckily, I do finish first and I get five. Second and third will both get three. So I guess you're going to always look and be like, hey, where's that next level of something? That's what I want to get. Level four gets two, level five gets two, level six, two, seven. One, so six will be the next uh, level that you want to get there. Anyways, let's get back to the other stuff. Where can we buy these? So let's take a look at our spiritual beasts. I do have a couple that are max level gold. So I got the Bird of Hurricane, Lord of Lava, and the Behemoth King. He is also level 10, but is he smelted to the max? He looks a little bit... Yes, he is. Thunder Scorpion is not. Anyways, looking at them, uh, basically, I can't click on experience for any of them. I can't click on experience for any beast. They're all maxed out. So what do I have to do next? I have to click on smelt. And you can see it takes 10 of these. So the, the quickest, without spending money, is going to be every two weeks you can upgrade. If I look at these beasts, are these worth upgrading? You know, I'll tell you right now, this one, you know, these beasts, they basically help you out with the bottom thing only later in the game. So for me, troop load. So when I'm looting a family member, is that really going to be worth it for me to add some troop load? I don't know. Behemoth King, March size, get 1% more. I don't know, because he's not on, you know, he's not on uh, a specialty general anywhere. And then if we go to these ones, the Fox and Pegasus, I'm not even close to upgrading those because I don't have enough of these badges or the are these Foxtails that I need. So can't get them. So basically the number one one you're going to want to do is Bird of Hurricane because 1%, you know, right, if you do... What if, if you do 100 bosses in a day, you're going to get one extra double drop. Pretty much that's how that works. So you're going to pay 70,000 gems, 35 million gold, all this other stuff for 1% a day. But you probably do like three or 400 or 500 a day. So that'd be like five extra double drops a day. Is that worth it? Just do the math, right? If that's a Yemer five, five times a day, that's going to be about 100 million resources. 70K for 100 million, and you're doing that every single day. Seems like a solid investment. But uh, anyways, it has to be that one general hitting 500 times too, though. So we could probably cut that down a bit. Anyways, uh, where do we get these from? So let's, uh, let's click on it and see what they look like in the pack. Is this a good pack? Where is it? I'm clicking around. I haven't been able to find where it is. Is it on sale? Is it in the sale item? Because I can't find this uh, Spiritual Beast Awakening pack. But it's in here somewhere. It's not in here. Right? Unless it's in the option chest. 
or is it only going to come at the higher levels? So when you start to purchase, uh, you know, $10 pack, $20 pack, $100 pack, is it going to be up there? Well, this is an interesting pack. $50, get one. That's a, you know, pretty good item. Decent stuff in this pack. Surprising for $50. Usually most of these ones, 25 blood of airs. All these ones down here are usually complete garbage. So I guess there's some options. Uh, sometimes you have to spend a little bit to get that. Uh, I'll show you right now. When you buy, when you spend too much on this game, you end up short a few gems trying to get this 100,000 gems. So you got to buy like, I think 8,000 gems. At least there's an option of a decent pack rather than those complete garbage packs. So anyways, I don't see the Awakening Stones in here, but we do know they are for money. I'm just going to guess it's not available for $5, but I don't think it's that premium an item. I'm going to make a prediction here. I do believe that the next uh, thing, Ebony, is going to increase uh, up to red to ascend, as they say, from the gold level. If, if you just look at what they're doing here in the inventory, you can see all these spiritual beasts, right? I got tons of experience uh, just coming out my bottom there, ready to do the spiritual beast. What else do people have in the inventory they could use? Monarch experience. Ebony will monetize that coming soon for sure. And it's going to end up ascending your monarch experience. It won't be a simple thing of it can go to the level of your keep or your, yeah, sorry. Yes, the highest keep is 40, highest monarch is 40. They'll let you ascend past that for a nice price. Anyways, uh, that's the update on Spiritual Beast. Pretty underwhelming, but hey, if you got the gems, you got the gold, you got the awakening stones, no one's going to be able to sit there. I know I'm not going to be able to sit here and see this in my inventory all the time and not use it. So congrats to Ebony. They will get some of my gems again for something that really won't help too much. Anyways, Genghis, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what level of purchase pack is it where you start to get the Awakening Stones.